Hey everybody, welcome to the shop. Uh, this is a special video for me. Uh, I'm going to try today to etch a lantern globe with a design on it. And I've seen people do this all the time. I've never done it. So this is a first for me. And uh, it's also special because this lantern... So like I said, it's a propane lantern. But this lantern is special to me because this lantern was my son's Christmas present. And my son passed away on December the 18th. So he never got his lantern. But on special days, I burned this lantern in remembrance of my son. And, uh, I had some vinyl decals made. And I'm going to place them on the globe. Then we're going to put it in the cabinet. And we're just going to see if we can make something really cool uh, on my son's lantern globe. So uh, wish us luck and uh, we'll be right back. All right. This is where we are so far. I got the vinyl put on his globe. So now, all we've got to do is uh, get it to the cabinet and we're gonna experiment. I'm gonna try, uh, last time I did some etching, I think I had it at 90 PSI. I'm gonna start at 50 PSI today. And uh, I'm going to back off. I don't want to blow the decals off. I'm just going to take it real easy because I want it to come out nice. So uh, I'll see you in the cabinet. All right, folks. I cut the air back to about 50 PSI. I hope it picks up. Let's see. Fifty PSI just might not be enough. It'll take me a long time. Let me turn my air pressure up just a little bit. Just gonna try to hold it back a little further from it.
I'll let that compressor catch up a minute. It's so loud. Let's just inspect what we got going on here so far. Turn it around this way. I think we're gonna have enough air just to cut the compressor off so we can hear finish this job. I wanna make sure that's the way I want it before I call it a day on it. On these edges. Friends, I believe we're going to call it a day. Now we got to peel off the labels and see what we got. All right, we got it out of the cabinet. This is where we are now on it. I didn't blow none of the type off, so now I'm going to start to peel it off and we'll see what we got. This is going to be time consuming. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Look, I just took the end off. That looks pretty cool. So, uh, let me take it all off and uh, we'll be back. Alright, we got it all off. And, uh, you know, where the sticky was on it, it left just a little bit of residue and I took some alcohol and rubbed on it. But this is what we came out with. And... I have no black cloth to stick down in it. So I'm going to do the best I can. I got an old gray rag right here. Try to stick down in here where maybe you can see a little better. But it come out pretty cool on the glass. So now we're going to put it in the lantern. And we're going to fire it up. Probably be so bright when I get it in the lantern. Can't tell nothing. Let me blow 
this top off. Works out. See how she does. Well, I can see it great. Turn it back a little bit. Let me bring the. See if we can get it to where you can see it. Hold it close enough. Turn it around the back. It says shine on Noah. Real happy with it. I know Bubba would liked it too. All right, man. Thanks for being in the shop. This was a killer. Uh, real tickled with this one and uh, until next time